I don't think it's hate speech. I think because I don't think Roseanne's a hateful person, but I do feel like our culture itself is, um, it's not just Roseanne who is tweeting negative things. I think on both sides of the political spectrum, people are angry, people are disenfranchised, and, and people want to lash out and be petty. I, I feel like it's kind of in vogue right now, unfortunately. Our show is always politicized. Um, you know, I think what people don't understand is that Roseanne was always a polarizing figure, even back then. And I think that's part of who she is, and I think that's part of her strength. But I think it's also being a comic, you kind of walk that line. That's part of what comics do, is you walk the line of what's appropriate and what's inappropriate and what's socially acceptable and what's not. And that's part of what she does. It's just when you do that, it makes it easier to make a misstep. So you should look forward to getting to know all of the Connors on a deeper level and not just one or two. Tell me about that. I feel like I already know Becky and I know Darlene. But do you? You think you do. Do you really know them? extensively as parents and extensively as aunts and uncles and extensively as in-laws, you're going to find a lot more than, than what you even knew about them. Well, I think it's something that you, you wonder. You wonder, can we make this all work? Is it something that fits or everything, but then what you really look at is we felt like the legacy of the show deserved especially a better ending, and we felt like that there were more stories to tell.